Hello again if you're joining me from the first series card that I just made. I am continuing on with a sympathy, oh, no, I'm sorry, a get well card from the wild card cricket cartridge and I'm making the band-aid version. This one is on page 65. It's really cute. As with the other card that I made with the sympathy card, I wasn't really sure what size I wanted to start off with with the envelope because they do suggest you always make the envelope first so that way the um, the card inside will complement the, the right size for that envelope. So when you select <clears throat> when you select your um, envelope on for that's on for the cardstock that's on the mat and you um, select the feature fit to page when you hit the cut button it will show you the size that that envelope will cut out for to complement to make the appropriate size for the card that you want to make so um, this one this is the band-aid envelope and once I hit the cut button, it showed that this was going to be cut out at six and one fourth inch. So when I went back in and I selected when I wanted to make the card, then um, I selected six and a quarter inch for my card. And so then everything else, do not um, change your dial for real the real size because then it'll make all these pieces actually six and a quarter inches and you don't want that for it to complement your card you wanted to leave that feature off do not use the set to real size so um, when when you set your dial at six and a quarter inch it cuts the card out it fits just perfectly inside that envelope and um, this card stock is from the paper studio collection as well it's kind of a taupe color and then um, I used a piece of cream color cardstock for this um, this layer which is this right here that's the the layer that goes over the top and then um, I use this and then this red card this is red cardstock from the coordinations pack that I got from Joann's so and then this um, stethoscope that I cut out is in the icon feature and um, that you will have to use your shift key for and so um, I did a boo-boo on this envelope I was being lazy and didn't want to get my scoreboard out and so um, I kind of I folded everything okay but then when I went to fold over my top flap this top flap I got it off a little cattywampus so I had to fix that <laughs> So I wasn't too happy with myself on that. So on my second card, I made sure I got my scoreboard out and it made really nice score lines and everything. Um, as I said, this was cut out at the six and a quarter inch size selection. If you're using the um, Create Cricut Create machine that uses a six by twelve, select uh, just a slight under six inch, and you should be able to cut out just fine. It cuts out when it says the six and a quarter inch it's meaning this way this is the way the pad the your um, die cuts cut out I should have mentioned that on my other my first video um, when you are not sure of the inches what size you're wanting to cut out hold your book this way and use this as your reference knowing that if you're setting at six and a quarter inch you're always looking at it this way so um, it kind of gives you a better idea and if you're wanting to use say like the feature the phrase feature where it says get better um, and you want to use it for a card other than this and you're wanting a different size then you can select whatever then you would want to use your actual size selection to cut that out real dial size at that um, that size but keep in mind you're going to measure it this way that's your inches so if you're if you select two inches for instance then um, in the real size then this is going to be two inches deep this way or wide this way I say deep just because 
I think of deep as this way. But, um, so that's how that will come out. And like I said, just, you know, you use some scrap card stock. I typically buy the basic colors, the black, the white, the cream, the craft, in large quantities. So I'll, whatever I have the largest amount of on hand or scrap piece, I'll put that on my mat and I'll do a sample piece just to, to see if that's the actual size that I want. And if I'm, if I know that that is the the size that I'm ready to go, and then I'll put the the actual cardstock or paper selection on the mat and and cut and go to town with it. <laughs> just to kind of give you an idea, um, since you know that this card is set at six and a quarter inch in in size selection on your dial, um, and then all your other features in here, all your feature buttons are set if you don't have it at real dial size they're all set for them to cut out at complementing size, sizes for your card so in other words um, this is a six and a quarter inch card but yet the doctor's bag which is part of the frame it's the first frame option on that card it doesn't cut out at six and a quarter inch it cuts out just um, a little bit more than four inches, about four and a half inches, and then about not quite three inches this way. So that's an example of your size. But if you actually want that doctor's bag cut out at six and a quarter inches, it's going to come out more the size of the that card at six and a quarter inches. And if you actually want that any of those features cut out at the actual size, this is the button that you look for on your overlay. It says real dial size. You would select that if you want those features to actually be six and a quarter inch or whatever size that you're selecting. It doesn't have to be six and a quarter. Any any size that you if you actually want it to be that size, that is the feature that you would use. So finishing out this card, I used my cuddle bug embossing folder. I believe this one is called Swiss Dots. This embossing folder is probably one of the most recommended embossing folders I would suggest anybody that is starting out a collection this is a very good basic starter one to start off with one of my favorites I used that on both of the cards I haven't showed you the second one just yet but um, on both of them I used that embossing folder on this layer which is part of the liner piece as I said before um, and then I went over all the edges and over the embossed um, edges with the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the Vintage Photo, just to kind of make it have a, more of a natural appearance, I guess you could say, went over that. I didn't include a sentiment just yet inside the, the doctor's bag, but I will, I will do that um, when I decide what I'm going to do next, <laughs> or what I want to include in his card. So then for the next one, since I knew um, I was familiar with the card then, I decided to go with this one and I set my dial size for 6 inch and just started off with my card. I didn't do the fit to page for this. Um, I did 6 inch, made my envelope first. Sorry about that, good old phone rings right at the wrong time, huh? <laughs> Um, so anyway, I set this at six inch. Made the made the envelope first, and then the card. Um, I used this pink is from the same Paper Studio textured cardstock pack, and I love that pink color because it I thought it had the band aid look, <laughs> kind of a flesh tone pink, and um, I did use the scoreboard to make sure all my lines were defined nicely, nice crisp edge. They the um, it gives you little marks so that way you can tell where you're supposed to score at. And um, so this is the liner piece. Like the other card, everything else is pretty much the same as a liner card. I mean, <laughs> the liner card. Everything's pretty much like the first card that I did, only the size selection is a little smaller. And then um, I went around all my pieces with the Tim Holtz Distress Ink and the Victorian Velvet. And. Um, and then I did the doctor's bag inside and then the uh, phrase feature, get better. I put that inside the doctor's bag. And, and then I added, I already had this die cut cut out from before. Um, I, care, I 
keep all my extra pieces if I don't end up using it for a project I keep it back for in case I want to use it on another one so those come from this die cut set that I had ordered it's from my creative time dies and she has a website um, you get the three different sizes all of her dies have the stitched edges to them I really like that a lot so anyway I used a couple of those that were left over and then I um, I put it on some of my dimensional foam tape um, just to give a little bit of pop and then put a embellished a little uh, flat back pearl that has it has an adhesive back put that on there but I was going to mention I, I really like these this foam tape roll that I I buy this at hot um, I'm sorry big lots for a dollar forty nine you get a whole roll of it this one's almost empty but um, I like it because this one is a little thinner and so if you're using this for cards that you're going to send in the mail it gives you the dimension without making it too thick I'm trying to hold it so you can see so it, it raises it up but it's not like an extreme pop-up so it's still it still fits in your card very nicely and um, gives it a little bit of dimension and of course I keep my I, this is my designated pair of scissors um, a spare pair that I had from Ikea just a little pair and then I every now and then I'll clean them off with my um, with an alcohol and just wipe them off and it gets all the sticky off of there so um, anyway I think that is about it if you have any questions and I know what I was going over it's, some things may be clear as mud <laughs> So if I've confused you in any way, I, I will try my best to try to answer any questions that you have. And um, leave a comment. And um, hope everyone is doing great. And I hope this helps people um, in various ways, hopefully. <laughs> Mostly just kind of, um, you know, trying to help my, help my friend with um, learning to use her Cricut and hope that it helps her and anybody else that is learning as well and then it helps me to remember what I've done and um, kind of journal journal my journey of what I make with this wild card cartridge so um, I'm going to title like I said I'm going to title the videos um, with the wild card series and and then number them so that way it'll be quick reference if you're wanting to make something with that cartridge you'll know how to find it easier so um, Take care and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.